Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Ratings Wars. I'm really excited to discuss all of the ratings with you guys for this week because there's a lot to discuss with it because they all did so bad. It's really interesting because every show really dropped except for like one. And we'll talk about every show individually, but before we get into the individual episode ratings, I want to talk about the ancillary market versus the live action market or the, the live viewing market. I would say... If I was a network executive, I would really work or try to think of a new and creative way to distribute my shows because the ancillary market, I really believe, is taking it over and it's a problem because people just aren't scheduling time to watch TV because TV isn't a priority because if it's DVR'd, if it goes to Hulu, if it's on Netflix, you can watch it at your leisure, which is better for people because everyone's lives are busy. So I would really consider if I worked for ABC, the CW, etc., to maybe release my shows in a binging, fa uh, binging fashion. Now, I know that Disney's making their own streaming service, and by 2019, all of their content, except for the Marvel shows, is going to be off of Netflix, which makes me wonder, will the ABC shows then go to that streaming service as well? And then I thought, with the CW, they have, um, or with Warner Brothers, they have their own DC streaming service that you're going to have to pay for, and that's where their live-action Titans will air, and Young Justice Season 3 will air there as well. And then, uh, as I was saying, with the CW would they pull all their DC properties to that streaming service? I, I really think that shows just need to be released with all episodes at once so that way you can watch them um, at your leisure. It's just, it's interesting because I, I don't see people tuning in anymore and this week kind of shows that. So with the ABC slash the Disney company, Once Upon a Time went down. The, they had only 2.52 million people tune in uh, for episode three, The Garden of Fork and Pats, which is not an all-time low. Episode 17 of season six was the uh, the lowest the shows have at a 2.51, but it's right on the cusp. So I would say that once is on a downward spiral. I expected it to kind of stay stagnant or at least be like 2.70. I didn't expect it to go into the 2.5s. So uh, episode four, Beauty, you know, it looks like a really good episode. I'm actually really looking forward to it myself. So I'm curious to see where it will it will fall. If it goes into the fours and lower and lower and lower, then we're going to see a problem with Once Upon a Time in the future. Scandal suffered a little bit of a drop as well. Uh, but again, it's their final season, so I don't think they really care because they're not going to get canceled mid-final season. It's just, it's not going to happen. And I, I do wonder, because the writing of the show is interesting, but like I thought episode three was really boring. And I do wonder, because Shonda Rhimes got poached by Netflix because Netflix has all the money, and that's where Netflix is, you know, 5 million people joined Netflix in the last quarter. Like, again, it just leads to the argument that streaming or releasing everything at one time for streaming purposes is a better is a better idea. And a net, uh, excuse me, Scandal went down by about 0.30, and um, I mean, the episode wasn't really that good anyway, but people just aren't tuning in, so... Now Scandal's in the fours, which is low for them. You know, Scandal's always at least been in the fives. Uh, How to Get Away with Murder suffered a little drop. It went from 3.88 to 3.56. But I would say that's actually not bad uh, in the terms of a drop, just because it, it wasn't, like, super drastic. I mean, I don't know. For some reason, like, when, I, when you look at twos, you want twos to go up. You don't want twos to go down. But because it's still above um, 3.5, I, I would say it's... I would say How to Get Away with Murder is fine, though. Um, again, I think episode five might be a little bit more telling where season four is going. So, you know, ABC had quite a bit of a loss this week, which is unfortunate. Uh, then when you go back to the CW slash Warner Brothers, you know, you see Supergirl. It had a little drop, but it's Supergirl's now at 1.76 for episode two, which I thought, eh, episode two was okay, too. I, season three hasn't wowed me yet. Uh, the Flash is doing the best so far on the CW. It had a little bit of a drop, essentially, on the same of How to Get Away with Murder. It dropped about uh, 30 view, uh, 0.30 viewers, 0 .30, 0 .30 million viewers. So um, it's it's interesting to see, you know, wh where all these shows are going to lie. Then, you know, at the bottom, you can see uh, I have a little, you know, just a breakdown of all the other shows on the CW that I enjoy. Uh, Supernatural had the had um, a pretty decent hold as well as Arrow. Arrow, which I think is the show that suffers the most of plot, but is at least in the prior seasons and now is becoming the best. You know, it it, it barely dipped, and that lack of a dip is what you want because it just went down by point one. Point one's not much. So 
or 0 0.01. So I'm really curious to see, you know, where Arrow will fall. I think, you know, you know, Flash, you know, people, a lot of people are watching Flash still. Flash is a fun, fun show to watch. I, I personally think Supergirl is more fun to watch than Flash, but um, this is just not the audience. Though it's interesting, it's on CBS, Supergirl did so much better. You know, it had a premiere of 12 million way back with uh, season one. Uh, Supernatural had a little drop as well by about um, 0.20, so it wasn't so bad. I mean, I don't watch Supernatural anymore, but I, I like to talk about it because it's been on for years, and it just really shows like wh what network TV is like. Uh, Legends had a drop by about uh, 0.20 as well, so I mean, it wasn't super bad. Legends is kind of an okay show. It's just fun. Uh, for the company that I really do believe that won is Fox, because if you look at Fox for uh, both Lucifer and Gotham, uh, it's funny how distributions of the shows themselves actually work for DC. Because you would think that Lucifer, a DC show, would end up on you know the Warner Brothers network, and same with Gotham. But I guess Fox wanted to air them. I, I, I don't really know too much about the linguistics or the the contracts behind the shows airing on different networks. But uh, Gotham had a had had a holdover. Very much like How to Get Away with Murder's holdover last week with uh, 2.75. Though I think the murder from, um, excuse me, the murder, the move from uh, Mondays to Thursdays kind of hurt Gotham, which is a bummer. Uh, it's just thought its viewership on Mondays was much higher than it was on Thursday nights. Uh, Lucifer had a little bit of a drop, but the drop isn't super drastic as well. So I would say that Fox overall won the day. Then when you go to Universal or uh, slash NBC, This Is Us even had a drop. And I loved this week's episode of This Is Us. So I just don't think the audience is there, which is crazy that so many people don't want to tune in. So those are the numbers for the live viewings of all these shows this week. What do you guys feel about people not tuning in anymore? Do you think that it's better to have a binge, a binge audience, you know, just get all the shows at once and then watch them at your leisure? Or do you like the week by week release? I'm actually a fan of the binge. I think binging is much more enjoyable. Um, because again, you get to do it to your own schedule. And it's just, it's the setup. It's the timing and, and scheduling it to, to get to watch these shows. But I'm really curious what you guys would say about it in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in to Ratings Wars Episode 3. I can't believe we're already on three episodes. We'll have at least um, 19 more, I believe. So anyway, share your thoughts in the comments below about Ratings Wars, and we'll talk real soon. All right, guys. Bye.